we'll rig it for you if you're interested. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you're, you're behind him in line too for, for rigging it. <laughs> just put me in the thing. Just yeah. go up to me and him. Oh, yeah. I like West Falls too. Yeah. All you gotta do is be subscribed. Subscribe to play and trade guitars and you can win this sucker. This thing's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just steal it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to give us a, a couple seconds on uh, the guitars, would you? Uh, run can, down yeah. on that. Sure. That uh, big double case there. If you want to pull red out of the top of that. Oh yeah. I'll show you red. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Um. So this is my main profiling guitar. It's a Tom Anderson Hollow T, and it's got hollow chambers. Beautiful. I've actually just put a Glazer bender on yeah. it. So oh, this cool. is. I've had it for almost 20 years, and it finally gets a bender. It's 20th year. <laughs> This has been through a whole lot. I actually cracked the top. You can see this line there. Yeah. That was a crack that, I mean, it was, it was into the hollow part. So Tom refinished it for me. So the back's a different color than the front. Ah. The back. Yeah, I can see it. The front it. used to have the red in it, but then when it got refinished, it was just two-tone. Yeah. Which I kind of like better than the, the sunset's nice, but. That's it's gorgeous. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this is my reference guitar. So most all profiles, I'll start using that guitar. And this is my new guitar. I just got this this last week. It's one of the Icon series, but this is kind of like my rock guitar. So if I'm doing any high gain stuff, this is the one I'll be using now from now on for that. Yeah, very cool. And kind of like a relic finish where the kind of yeah. looks like a refin over a sunburst kind yeah. of a look. Yeah, yeah. it's got the That's back burst cool. underneath the Daphne blue. So cool. That's beautiful. Yeah, those those sound and incredible. And always this really cool switching stuff. So like both of these do stuff. Mm -hmm. This splits the bridge to single coil. Yeah. And this one gives me this combination oh, when I when I go to the middle. So if this is up, then this middle section is this. And then push down, it's just that pickup. So it kind of okay. gives you nice. So you get the tele, the tele combo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I use that a lot. That's yeah. almost my favorite sound for the in between these sounds. That's awesome. Now if I want to do dark straights, you know, I'll use that. But uh, Or John Mayer's, these two to me. And then, yeah. But my favorite is kind of that. That's awesome. Beautiful guitars. And this is the one I've seen. The most. This is, uh, yeah. This is this the. This is your number one? That is number one. This right. one's technically called number one, but this is the main one I use on the road a lot and videos and everything. Yeah. Wow. It's a Tom Anderson Cobra uh, special. I've replaced the pickups with Duncan Antiquities years and years ago, and then I put the Illich back plate. So this has a dummy coil built into the back plate, so it makes the single coil pickups noise canceling. Ah, okay. Oh, awesome. But it doesn't change the tone. They still sound like single coils. Yeah. And then uh, put my drop D tuner on it. Yeah. Uh, this kind of does the same thing. If I'm here, mm -hmm. I pull that up, then I get this combination. Okay. Yeah. And it's got a tremolo, drop D, you name it. So it has all the bells and whistles. So I can do almost any. Gig. You got all the toys. Yeah. yeah. This, yeah. this <laughs> covers everything. If I just had to take one guitar to a gig, it'd be this one. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Thanks. Well, thanks so much for uh, wow. giving us the rundown. That's and it's awesome. Gibson scale length, so it's oh, okay. a little slinkier. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, I didn't cool. know So that. even though it looks like a telly, it's kind of a Les Paul because oh, it's shorter. Mahogany, yeah. mahogany, maple cap, short oh, scale. Okay. Now, is that when he does that scale length for all of his guitars or just this? It says Cobra. It's just Gibson scale. Oh, okay. okay. Interesting. I didn't know yeah. that. So, yeah, his names all kind of imply something. So okay. if it says Cobra, that's usually mahogany, mahogany, maple top with a Gibson scale length. Oh, yeah. okay. And then different pickups and different bridges and stuff. And then drop tops just mean, you know, there's a, there's a top laid on it, mm -hmm. the maple cap or whatever. This is called hollow T. This is hollow uh, contour. So they mm -hmm. make hollow T's that are, you know, traditional telly Sure. Pickups, but I got the contour there. Yeah. Well, they you sound incredible. They sound incredible. Well, thank you. Oh, uh, heck of a lineup here. So. Would you say you're a P90 guy? I mean. If I could just pick one pickup, yeah. yeah, that I just love them. Yeah, single coils just do it for me, and the fact that I can get them now without hum yes. because of these things that that makes all the difference. In the mm -hmm. So that's always the downfall with P90 is just they're big, loud single coils and they're noisy. Yeah, yeah. But I had heard that uh, uh, Lindy Fralin had a noiseless P90. Did you ever play one of those? It seems like I tried them at one time, yeah. and they just didn't sound just like a P90. Okay. And Tom Anderson makes one. He actually put the PQs in this at one point. Um, and so what they do with the PQs is there's two coils side by side instead of one coil around the pole pieces this way. 
there's two coils this way. Okay. Makes it hum canceling, but to me it doesn't sound the same as these. Mm. See. And I just like the sound of these pickups. Well, you can't go wrong with Seymour Duncan. No. <laughs> I know I use Seymour Duncan a lot, but actually the new Anderson pickups, I used to, I don't want to say fight them, but they, were, they used to just be kind of dark, but these new Anderson pickups sound really good. This is what they call a HC2, mm -hmm. and these are SC1s, and uh, yeah, they're, he makes great pickups. This one, I mean, I'm, I haven't changed this bridge pickup. Well, I say that, I think it originally came with a TD3. I put a TD3 plus not long after I got it. So I just wanted a little bit hotter. Um, I did swap out the pick guard and this pickup because it normally had the, it originally had the little skinny tele neck pickup, mm -hmm. but I had him do a humbucker for me at some point. I love that sound with humbucker in the yeah. neck and the single on the bridge on a tele style guitar. And switching on this is fun because so this, this is a stacked pickup. Mm -hmm. So both of these are double coil pickups. But this is stacked. So all the way in this position, I'm just using the top coil. So it's, huh. it's a true single coil. Okay. And then if I go to that, then I'm using both coils and it's hum canceling. So if it's noisy at a venue or whatever, I'm just not going oh, to cool. there. Yeah. It sounds almost the same, yeah. but it's uh, hum canceling. And then in the middle, I've got full humbucker and just the top, top coil. Here is this split, and then here is this full humbucker. So I've got a lot of... Options. That's so cool. And now the B bender. I was gonna say I was gonna ask you if you had the B bender. Yeah, I just put that on yeah. like a couple months ago. Oh really? Yeah. That's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That never gets old. Is that the only guitar that has the B bender, or do you? Have I've that got another G and L ASAT that has a hip, hip shot B bender on it. Okay. And it just it doesn't stay in tune as well, and I don't know. I just wanted to be able to use this guitar on the road, so I ended up putting the B bender on this. Okay. I think it sounds better than that G and L. And it plays way better. So, so man, yeah, you're an gorgeous. Anderson man. Yeah. I love Andersons. <laughs> yeah. I've played lots of guitars, but there's some, and I've even had a lot of Andersons that I didn't keep. But these, these two especially. I mean, th they both turned 20 this year. Wow. Really? Oh wow. The cool thing is, I bought these. This one I bought in Nashville in 2002, and this I bought in 2003, and it came from New York City. It was at Manny's Music, and then I started looking at serial numbers because that's the dates. Mm -hmm. um, this is 11.16, this is 11.10, 01. These oh. were made like 10 days apart. No kidding. Really? 10 days apart, like a week apart. So wow. these are both being made at the factory because it takes like four or five months. So these were basically being made at the same time. Yeah, wow. Like brother and sister. Yeah. <laughs> and no wonder you, they're your keepers. You yeah. love them. Yeah, and I bought both, of, both of these I bought new. So I'm the only owner of both of these. Wow. A lot of them I'll trade and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And now this guy, I'm the only owner of that because it was brand new when I got it. So. Yeah. And I've got another one somewhere, but it's at home. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's yeah. anything better than a telly, though. I, I mean, love tellys. The body shapes are super comfortable. Yep. Especially when you get the contours on them. For sure. Yeah. And they just, they just sound like you can play any gig with. Absolutely. Anyone. Yeah. And all my favorite players, you know, I like Strat guys too, but this, this is my sound right there. Yeah. <laughs> I play that thing. It's just fun. Oh yeah. That one's got so much. Time played on it, it's starting to get a little bit squirrely. Have you had any refrets? Nope. Well, I take that back. Yes, he put stainless steel frets on it okay. back in the mid 2000s. But those last forever, though, right? Supposedly, but they don't. I mean, they like, don't. These both got stainless steel frets at the same time. You can see they're getting pretty good divots. And yeah, that's, I think I see a little bit in here too. That's stainless steel. That's how much I play these guys. Mm -hmm. Well. You're, you're a musician, that's yeah. your job. Did you want to strum a chord? Can I, you can I, can I, I I'm not, I mean, I feel so bad because I, I, I you know like all the power and chords. on that guitar and the neck and stuff. It's starting to get a little beat up. That guitar sat in Manny's music for over two years and didn't ever sold. Yeah, wow. awesome. yeah. Well, it's a miracle. It means yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be with you, right? Yep. And I called up Anderson in the shop and I was like, do you have any like covers with three P90s. And he goes, let me look. So he looked at the system. So we don't have any here, but there's one at Manny's Music. I'll put you in touch with the guy. And I bought it sight unseen. He sent me one picture of it back in the old days of horrible cell phone pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Like 2001. Sounds mm -hmm. great. Oh, Didn't when you were when you were buying it? Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I saw a picture. I was like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> That's it's it. been my number one guitar forever. This feels great. I, I, I like your setup too, where it's like, it's not like super low. So I there's, there's, for there's room for it to like sing, you know, and there's room to grab, you know, and I it, have to have it a little higher. I don't like it super high, but I don't like it yeah. where it's buzzing out or anything like that. Yeah. I just kind of raise it until it stops buzzing. The 
the P90 is getting people's way a lot when they're first starting to play it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm faking it without a pick right now, but. Yeah. 